Nick, how did you get started as an award designer? Ooh, that's a that's a interesting question. When uh, I was approached, I knew nothing about awards. My whole history has been in furniture. I've been doing this for 20 years. So when the uh, question arose, uh, would you be interested in doing uh, awards designs for us? My first initial thought was, I know nothing about the awards industry. So it was uh, it was a moment of truth for me to see if this is a challenge that I could you know run with, and. Uh, since then, four years have passed, and we've come out with some almost 200 designs now. So the process and uh, getting into the awards design business uh, has been uh, an absolute fantastic experience for me. Nick, where do you get your inspiration for design? Oh, that was, a, that was also a challenge because uh, when you're designing something, you need some sort of parameters, you need to have an understanding of you know, what you're dealing with. Uh, being that I knew nothing about the awards industry, I mean, you could take anything and everything as a uh, as an influence. From you know, uh, you could be driving down the street and you see something, you could just you know dream it up. You can uh, just concept whatever comes to mind. So you know, uh, finding the inspirations had to be connected with the materials of the awards. So I actually had to do a little bit of uh, learning about what my restrictions would be with the awards because you just can't design you know 50 designs and then they come back and say, well, we can only make one of them. So I really needed to come up with a way to figure out how am I going to design awards that can be uh, used, first of all, can even be made. And uh, once I was able to establish the uh, requirements for you know, the etching surfaces, the material restrictions, uh, cost uh, based on the colors of the, the glass that you use, uh, even the fact that I'm using glass, I didn't even know what I was using. I didn't know if it was going to be acrylic or, or what. So once I found out that it was going to be optical, uh, optical crystal, once I found out that I had these colors available, once I found out uh, what my uh, material sizes were, once I found out how it was actually going to be manufactured, then I was able to sit down and start looking for areas and ideas of what we could do to create some of the most spectacular awards that anyone's ever seen. What differentiates your designs from others in the marketplace? Yeah, that was actually my main focus. Um, there are so many different types of awards that many different companies carry. We call them kind of like the Me Too products. And the idea was, if I'm going to start designing awards, I obviously have to design something that no one else has ever done. So it needed to be something special, it needed to be something new, it needed to be something that was fresh, that was exciting. And then when clients saw it, they actually said, wow, this is an impressive award. And uh, the goal really was also not to just create one, two, or three of these awards, but because I had the opportunity to where I can design up to 120 new designs a year and actually get prototypes made, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a designer's biggest dream. I mean, what, what more can you ask for? So now I had the ability to come up with any type of concept that I knew would work in glass and have it made, look at it, have the prototypes reviewed, make some changes to it, to the point where we all sat there and would say, this is a great looking piece. Nick, tell us a little bit about your design process. The process I use is very similar to furniture design. What we end up doing is, is we come up with some sort of a concept that we want to run with. We then uh, sketch out these ideas. Uh, those ideas are then put into AutoCAD. Uh, we really tune the, uh, the pieces so that we have dimensions on them, that it makes sense. We make sure that you know, there's certain factors that, uh, that it doesn't tip, it's not too big, it's not too small. Um, it still maintains the shape that I'm looking for. Uh, we're having the right type of reflections that I'm hoping to achieve. And uh, you know, where are we going to use certain color elements? Where are we going to um, you know, really play with the piece in such a way that it becomes something special? And those then get sent off to prototyping. The prototypes are then reviewed. I travel extensively. So uh, when these prototypes are ready, they can be anywhere from 10, 20, 40 pieces. I'll review the prototypes with the team. We will all look at them and determine if they really have the perceived value of what we're looking to achieve. And once we've come to that point, we then uh, say, OK, it's a go and uh, they get put into a catalog. And like you see here, we have some pieces that are gonna be for the 2013 line. Uh, these haven't even been photographed yet. Um, these are some of the items where we just did the prototype review and said, you know what, we really like these, we're gonna run with them. What is your vision for future award design? Yeah, that's, um, you know, in the beginning, you don't really think too much about that because you're still trying to handle the first set of awards you're designing. And then when you start realizing that after a couple of years, it's actually working, you have more and more clients coming uh, indicating you know that their the designs are just spectacular. They're really liking them. You have more and more companies that are latching onto them, and you start realizing you know what uh, this isn't just going to be a, a short little stint. We're actually going to have to do this for the long term. 
what happens then is you have to kind of uh, make sure you don't fall into a rut and your own designs start becoming stale. So what we have uh, really moved on is new materials. We've looked on really pushing the envelope on what you can do with glass. Um, we uh, work with a lot of facets, we work with a lot of reflection, we work with the light, we work with the colors. We do things that you're not going to see other companies doing. And that's really the key in making sure that for the future we have a continuously new series of designs that are coming out where we each and every time can say, wow, I haven't seen that before. If I can say, that's great, I haven't seen it before, and I can continuously keep that mantra, then I've accomplished what we've set out to do.